Paranoia is probably the worst title that you could come up with for this film because it contains no paranoia whatsoever. Oh, this film should have been packed with tension, it could have been one incredible thriller. Instead, it was just one long flat line and it wastes the actors. You kind of feel like you shouldn't have bothered getting these big names to play these roles because the script just wasn't good enough for them. They're too good for this. So wasting away is Oldman, Ford and Dreyfus and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> It kind of makes you wonder why they took on this role because it's like you know that you're better than this and so as a viewer or as a Oldman Ford or Dreyfus fan you will just get angry at this film. Then you've got the female lead who's Amber Heard who is the most unconvincible intelligent businesswoman that I've ever seen. She's just incredibly bland and this is only made worse when she's acting on screen with Liam Hemsworth. I would rather watch my washing machine on the full run cycle. Oh gosh, it's just <laughs> one of those things where the acting is just so bland that you're actually trying to keep your eyes open. <laughs> Matchsticks anyone? <laughs> so. I really do kind of feel sorry for Liam Hemsworth because all I see when I look at him is a baby face Chris Hemsworth but this Hemsworth is incredibly wooden. There's no charisma, clearly Chris Hemsworth sucked all the charisma out of the Hemsworth family and put it in his body because oh bless him, Liam just doesn't have that presence. I can only wish that he will get better but for this film he just wasn't good enough because he only seemed to know two or three facial expressions <laughs> and he was just a very unlikable character. Like I feel like, like I said, this character should have had charisma, you should have been rooting for him, this is, should have been a thriller where you're just like oh my god what's gonna happen to him and quite frankly I just didn't care. So I watched Paranoia thinking this could be one of those hidden gems, you know it wasn't released in the UK, it went straight to DVD and I thought you know what I'll give it a chance because sometimes you find the best things that go straight to DVD. Oh how I was wrong. <laughs> I jumped for joy when this film finished and managed to wake myself back up. 